Most American dioceses celebrate Jesus' ascension today. When reading today's gospel, the first thing that comes to mind is how much God likes to surprise us. And let me tell you what I mean by that. We know that Jesus traveled and preached for three years throughout the land, and his followers knew that God had sent him to get rid of the Romans and to become the new king of the Jews. Imagine their surprise when Jesus was crucified and killed. Then another surprise was that Jesus rose from the dead. And then, after he rose, he appeared off and on to people, surprising them again. Then the next surprise was today, the ascension. People were surprised by that, wondering what they would do without Jesus and him leaving them here on earth. Well, of course, the very next surprise came the following week, the Pentecost. Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to them. There's so many surprises. Just like with us, God continues to surprise us. God is so big and hard to describe and imagine that we can't fit him into some tidy little box in order to understand him. And looking at my life, I know that God has surprised me many times, and I have to admit there are times when I don't like surprises or the surprises that he's given me, and I might have been angry with him. But through all of that, obviously, I had to know that God knows what he's doing, and I had to be patient and trust him through all of those surprises, no matter what the difficulties were that popped up in my life. Looking back, I realized that God had the wisdom to get me through all of these surprises. Today's gospel says that Jesus' disciples doubted him as well. But they also had faith, and the faith helped them push those doubts away and trust in Jesus. And it's just like us. Of course, we have our doubts as well. God continues to surprise us and throw us for a loop but we have to have faith. And when we do, and when we trust God, and we trust that he knows what's better for us, and we let him lead us, we can get through any surprises or any difficult time. And then we'll realize that God was right. His plan was right. So I suppose we can try to let God lead us and help us get through those surprises, and we will see more of God's wonder and his wisdom. Thank you, and God bless you.